this is my new microsoft world tutorial for you all in this video i will teach you how to insert a line picture and how to insert a lot of shapes open your microsoft world documents until here we already studied so now a line picture so you can click in online picture and uh, you can search your picture and or uh, you can insert from your one drive okay so it's easy and then you can adjust it after that let's come to a shapes you can see a lot of shape this is recently used shape then lines rectangles basic shapes block arrows equation shapes flow charts and start and banners and a lot of others so any kind of shape you want just click it and then drag it here okay let uh, we will talk about this menu format so let's uh, insert some more shapes and come to insert again and shape this one okay and little bit decrease the size okay and then insert and insert one or two more shapes like uh, this one arrow and and uh, insert one more insert shape and then you can insert mm, this one okay store so let's start so here are some points okay so this one is for rotation you can rotate your shape okay and this one is for uh, increase the length okay height and weight this one is for the weight mm, here it's for the height okay similarly with these okay you can increase okay then you can decrease here are some more points one is this one and this one so it's also some basic functions you can uh, click and this one you can do like this and here you can see this one okay so how you will work with this you will click in this and you will press the left key and then you can drag your mouse okay and similarly with this and let's come to this one uh, this one you can see this this point so some basics functions and some other shapes like uh, this one this one you can drag it so you will see here another so how you can use it you can see basic function of that point and then rotation and increase the size okay so now let's come to the format menu of the shapes the first one is insert shapes you can also insert some shapes from here okay from here the same as like this one the same as like this insert okay you can also see it in this menu. then you can edit your shape you can change your shape if you want and then edit points some of the points from which you can edit your shapes you can drag this one so it's like a 3d in this one okay so you can edit your shape with points okay so this one is that okay and then draw text box then draw text box so it's a text box you can draw and then you can write something it's actually a text box okay this is our text box okay now let's come to shape styles here are a lot of styles you can apply on shapes okay like this one and this one is shape fill you can fill your shapes lot of colors no pills mean no pills more colors and pictures if you want to insert picture in this uh, then you can click in picture and then you can work office and then you can insert a picture okay then another one is gradient here are some gradients 
can see and then textures you can insert textures as well okay so let's insert some gradient okay this is okay so now another one is shape outlines you can see this one is the outline first let me increase the weight you can see the outlines so you can pen with colors okay and another one is shape effect a lot of e effects for the shape okay it's actually for the selected uh, this one is selected so uh, if you select this one and then go to effects then you will also see some effects for this one Sh this then shadow then reflection you can see some reflection this one okay then a lot of other effects like 3d you can see it one by one okay and then come to text when you insert text inside this one hi hi everyone okay then you can select the text then here are some coin up styles for the text first let me increase the size of the text okay then come to format and here you can see a lot of styles okay so this one okay and then this is text spell the color of the text okay and then like more and gradients some kind of things with with text then another one is text outline okay you can come and you can see text outlines and another one is text effects okay some reflections in there and like transform you can see a lot of text effects okay and text direction let's click in this one and come to text direction you can change your text like this one direction okay then like this one or this one okay and text align top middle and bottom okay and another one is if your text is more like if your text is a lot it's like more so you can select all the text control a inside the this uh, circle and come to format and create an a link okay and then click and draw text box so your all text goes to the text box okay then you can see the whole text inside this circle okay so another one is now another one is shape position this one is a shape i selected and then position we already studied about this in our previous videos okay so you can change your uh, shape position from here and then web text okay here are some kind of text behind you can see this one now in front okay select this one and in front okay now it's in the front now you can see this one in front this will come to in the front okay so this is some kind of web text then being forward okay and back forward send back okay send backward and similarly here front so it will come to in the front front and back okay then selection panel is like your all text box your all shapes you can see here okay this is selection panel then align so select the shape i selected now align left center okay then right then okay align top so this one is also working like a position but here, here you can see a lot of 
multiple options okay then group you can select many things okay and then you can make a group now it's a group now you can rotate you can see so now it's a group okay then you can click in ungroup now it's ungroup then rotate you can also rotate from here and also you can use this rotation select one okay select this one okay and then come to rotate okay then you can rotate this one okay and another one is like size so you can increase the size and height and weight okay so this is enough for today in our next lecture we will start from smart art and charts how to insert smart art and charts and a lot of other things so let's tune with me thank you so much